Okay, Jessica, if you're going to host the tennis darts competition, you're going to need to know the fundamentals of tennis. Yeah, we're just the guys that teach it to you, hey? I watch Wimbledon on TV every year. Now, why don't you guys step back there, and uh, we're going to teach you the forehand first. Okay. All right, come on. Now, nice and easy. You don't have to worry about it. Just okay. bring your net back. Here okay, comes now. now, keep your eye on the I'm going to hit it nice and easy first, all right? Don't be scared. Okay? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now let's try your backhand. Welcome to Wild and Crazy Kids! The show that goes anywhere and does anything to find kids having fun. With your host, Jessica Gaines, Omar Gooding, and Donnie Jessel. It might look like these people are jumping on the moon, but they're actually jumping on moon shoes. Today, kids and adults will lace up their moon shoes and face off in our moon shoe balloon bus. But we just couldn't decide which team would go first, so we came up with this solution. Now, three of these balloons are filled with paint, and the fourth balloon is filled with water. Now, each player will pop one of the balloons with the tack on his head, and the player who pops the balloon filled with water will go first. Now, Rose, you're up. I'm sorry, it's just not your lucky day, Rose. Okay, Kevin, you're up second, Kev. Oh, oh, Kev, I'm sorry, but it looks good on you. It really does. Now, Lori, it's getting, it's getting there. Now, you might be lucky. Go ahead. Oh, oh, Lori, I'm sorry. Now, Brooke, you're the lucky one, so go ahead and pop your balloon. Oh, um... Sorry, Brooke. Uh, listen, let's try a different approach. Uh, call it in the air. There are two ways you can combine tennis and darts. You can hit these with a racket, or you can do it our way. Kids will serve, swat, and smash tennis balls with this target to score points for their team. But you still have to get it past that annoying net. You know, eggs are pretty amazing when you think about it. I mean, just look at it precisely shaped, extremely aerodynamic, and it fits perfectly inside an egg cart. Chickens should be proud of themselves. There's only one problem, though. Now, that may be a problem for chickens, but it's just perfect for our game of egg scrambling. These kids have to scramble up this hill on their knees, grab as many eggs as they can carry while wearing boxing gloves, then slide down this water slide. And when they reach the bottom, they'll have to crawl through this tunnel and deliver the eggs into their carton before tagging their next teammate. Now the team with the most unbroken eggs in their carton wins. And here are our teams. Now Jessica's going to be joining the green team. Yeah, hey, green team! Yeah. And Donnie's going to be scrambling for the purple team. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be playing for the orange team. Yeah, right. Orange, 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 orange. Yeah. All right! Woo! Okay, now let's see how good you are with them gloves. Here, catch. All right, hey, pretty good. Huh? Still gonna lose, though. Okay, now here's the deal. When I smash this egg with this mallet, you guys take off up the hill, all right? Okay, now ready, set. Josh is first for the orange team, Matthew for the green, and Jeffrey is scrambling up for the purple. Green is first to reach the egg, but orange and purple aren't far behind. Oh, they're dropping them as they load up with all they can carry. Purple heads down first. Sand green. Oh, he loses some. Oh, Josh spills them all as he pops on the board. Matthew comes through the tunnel and he's still got eggs. All right. Josh gets to the tunnel and threw it pretty fast, but he doesn't have any eggs left. 
Brittany for the green is out in front. Daniel in the purple isn't far behind. They're scrambling to the eight. Remember, it's the team with the most eggs at the end that wins. Brittany is starting down with a handful. She's having trouble with the slide. Daniel's having a hard time getting a hold of those eggs. Brittany struggling with her slide, but holding on to the eight. She's into the tunnel. Eric for the orange is starting down. Brittany's through the tunnel, and she's still got an eight. Purple's still having a hard time getting his eggs, and Orange gets close to the bottom of the slide. Max of the green takes off. Daniel's got a big problem getting those eggs. Eric goes into the tunnel. Max grabbing his eggs. And Eric finishes the tunnel empty-handed. Max scooping out eggs. And he figures that's all he can carry. Daniel's finally sliding down for the purple, while China scrambles up for him. Daniel drops his, but it didn't break. He got it back. Matt gets to the bottom of the slide, empty-handed, and dives into the tunnel. Daniel still got one. Matt finishes and tags Jessica. Daniel gets to the end of the tunnel, and he's still got an A. That's one for the purple team. China sliding down, and Jessica is just getting to the edge. China heads for the tunnel as Tiffany scrambles up the hill for purple. Jessica is sliding down. China still got an egg. Take it away, Donnie. China's out of the tunnel, but she lost her egg. She tags Omar. Jessica loses her egg, too. Oh, it's Matt. Omar crawling up the hill while Tiffany holds on to her eggs and starts her slide. Jessica's struggling out of the tunnel. And she tags Matthew, who takes off. Omar's got a double hand for and tries a head first sliding technique. Matthew's almost to the top. Tiffany's got a hand full of eggs and gets a good slide. Uh-oh, she's losing it. Omar fights his way out of the tunnel. Hey, he's still got one. Matthew's got a bunch of them. Omar tags Josh. Matthew almost falls. He loses one. Then he heads for the tunnel. Here comes Tiffany. You take it, Jessica. Tiffany's holding some. Matthew's out of the tunnel. Oh, he loses one. He gets it back. And he brings it home. Here goes Donnie. He scrambles to the top. Starts scooping them up. He's got a bunch of them. And he slides to a stop. Brittany takes off for green. Donnie recovers and goes back for a sliding board. Eric for the orange is catching up to Brittany. Oh, Donnie's crawling backwards down the slide. Brittany's got an arm full. Donnie is coming through the tunnel. Eric's still up at the top. Whoa, she slipped. But she manages to hold on to the egg. Donnie's stuck in the tunnel. Brittany flies through and brings one home. Donnie flies out and, oh, down. Oh, that hurt. Jeffrey runs for it, and that takes off. It's a scramble up to the egg. They're neck and neck. China is right behind. Green and purple are trying to scoop as many eggs as they can. There's only 45 seconds left. Oh, Matt loses four eggs. He's trying to get some back. China's only going for one. Orange and purple are both coming down to the bottom of the slide. Matt goes for the tunnel. China's sliding and Jeffrey's trying to get his egg back after dropping it. China's going for the tunnel. This is really close. They're all in the tunnel. China's out and she's still got her egg. All right, well, that's it. It's over. We had a lot of fun.
fun, didn't we, guys? Yeah. yeah it was really messy, too, huh? Well, Orange team, uh, we came in third place with two. That was still a good job, but uh, what happened? How, how many did you bring back? One. You bring back, back. I got back one, and, and what about you guys? Zero. Zero, yeah. How, how, what happened? You know, coming down the slide, you had a lot to begin with, though, right? Well, when I, when I was going through the tube, um, my, ha my hand hit the wall, my hand hit the side of it, and it just cracked. Knocked most of them out of your hands, right? Well, well we still, get a, still did a good job. All right, give it up for the orange team. Come on, please. A little, little blood, a little blood. Okay, and in second place was the green team. All right, you guys. That was that was pretty good. Uh, how'd you happen to bring five back? I could barely hold on to one. We're just very talented. I'll leave that one alone. Okay, and the winners, of course, were the purple team. Yeah, purple. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, Donnie, you brought back six. Now, who was it who brought back the most? Uh, one of these guys, they brought back... You did? How many did you bring back? Three. Yeah, and you, how many? Three. Three, so you guys brought in all the eggs, and uh, you didn't seem to get one back, did you not? I, I brought some back. I don't know where you get that. I, I promise, I brought some... I might have I might have hit a few mm -hmm. slick spots mm -hmm. on the slide. Slick spots? Still... Well, we saw this little spill over yeah, here, yeah. Oh, are you still aching from that? <laughs> yes, I am. My, my neck is not... <laughs> all right, <laughs> Fantastic traveling, guys. Now, uh, let's grab those eggs and go make some omelets, huh? Come on. Right. Come on over here. Let's grab these eggs. Grab an old. Grab an old. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh. Heads up. The Moon Shoe Balloon Bus is just a hop away. And we'll be clocking these sizzling serves with our radar gun in the tennis darts competition. And I'll wander off. <laughs> look out. Here comes the big guy. He's making time fly. They're running with the big guy. And I'll tell you why. Watch me trick out of his cocoa pebbles. Mr. Spark! My search for something super chocolatey has led me here. Must be my delicious cocoa pebbles. Fascinating. They're yours if you take me on the Enterprise. Okay, we're back. We posed down our four unlucky players and figured out which team would go first. Now we're ready to play Moon Shoe Balloon Bust, and here's how it's done. These seven kids... <laughs> all right, have challenged these seven adults... <laughs> ...to hop through this field of hanging ooze balls. I call them that because we don't know exactly what's in them. It could be paint, shaving cream, water, or all three. The adults will bounce up and down on the moon shoes and use this tack on their head to pop as many of the balloons as they can in 60 seconds. Then the kids give it a try. Whichever team pops the most at the end of the two rounds wins. Okay, well, let's get you guys bouncing. Ready, parents? Yeah! All right, here we go. Ready, set, go! She jumped the gun there, but we'll give it to her. Come on, Mom, jump! All right! Good shot! up how many balloons the mom's got. Let's watch some of the action in slow motion. Oh, splash! <laughs> I love to see moms getting trained. Alright, guys, great job. Pretty impressive, parents. You guys popped 63 balloons. Good job. You guys think you can beat them? 
Okay, guys, listen. You need 64 to win, so get into position and let's see what you can do. All right, great job. Ready? Set? Go! All right, they're really popping them. Come on. All right, great. Yes, a shaving cream dunk. Higher, 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 higher. <laughs> oh, paint black. Good jump. Oh, one kid's down, but she's getting back up. Come on, jump. Yeah. All right, great paint dunk. Good jump. Come on, keep going, keep going. All right, don't slow down. Oh, good one, Orange. All right, keep on going, guys. Keep on jumping. Don't tire out. Oh, red all over the face. Oh, shaving cream. Come on, guys. Now don't whip out. 25 more seconds left. Come on, keep on going. There you go. All right. Great shot. Okay, come on. They're really working them out there. Oh, red on the face. Ten more seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Well, the reps count up their score. Let's watch the kids get into some serious ooze action. Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's see it backwards. Okay, give yourselves a hand. That was a great game. Okay, kids, how does it feel to get sucked? You guys like that? Yeah! All right. Great. Okay, now here's the outcome. Now, parents came out with 63 balloons, right? Yeah! Okay, give yourselves a hand. That was a great job. But kids came through with 79. So the kids are the winners. Good job, guys. Congratulations. Tennis, anyone? How about darts? Stick around because we set them together. Hold on. Wild and crazy kids will be right back. Boy, this time of year, we Sears siding contractors spend a lot more of our days inside than we do outside at installations. That's because people just don't think of making home improvements in the winter. So to keep our men busy, we're willing to make you a special offer. For a limited time, save $750. Plus, make no payments for six full months on Sears siding if you call right now. Siding that we believe in so much, it comes with a manufacturer's lifetime warranty on all materials, backed up by Sears. And you know Sears will always be there to back up this warranty. So call this toll-free number now for your free in-home estimate. A Sears representative will tell you all about our convenient credit plan that translates into low monthly payments. Plus, you'll get $750 off and make no payments for six months. Go ahead, give Sears a call. Call 1-800-522-8300 to arrange for your free in-home estimate. Call now and save $750. That's 1-800-522-8300. It's where you want to be this weekend. The NIP Hit List. Counting down your favorite music videos and more. Tomorrow and every Sunday at 1.30, 12.30 Central on Nickelodeon. You're watching Nickelodeon. And now back to Wild and Crazy Kids. The game of tennis has always confused the heck out of me. I mean, how about that scoring system? 15, then 30, then 40? Who came up with that one? What's wrong with 1, 2, 3? Well, we kept the good part, the racket and the ball, and came up with a better game. We call it tennis darts. Here's the way it works. These tennis players will serve, return, and overhead smash tennis balls at this target. Every ball that goes through a hole in the target scores points. The closer the ball is to the bullseye, the more points you get. Pretty simple, huh? Let's meet the team. We have the girls in yellow. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! And the boys in black. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, Adam, what's your best shot? My overhead. Okay. And Dickla, do you know why they keep score the way they do in tennis? No. I don't think anybody does. Okay, let's get the first kid on the court and start the first round. Yeah! Dickla is going first for the girls. Our tennis pro, Gil, will lob balls to her for an overhead smash. The ball is served to her. She smashes it low and bounces through the 25. Dickla is ready for her second ball. 
she hits it high, and it goes over the target. She gets the third ball and slams it through the 25 at the top of the target. Let's see that last shot again. She's got a good stroke through the ball and scores. Adam is up now for the boy. He takes his position and the serve. He blasts it right through the 25 at the bottom of the target. That's the same spot that Dickla hit her first one. The second ball. He pulls it to the left of the target for no score. The third ball. He nails it for 50 points. Good smash. He keeps his eye on the ball and follows through with good form. After the first round, the girls have 50 and the boys have 75. Becky is going to serve for the girls in round two. She tosses it high. And yes, good serve for 75 points. Becky has excellent form as she tosses directly overhead. She reaches high with full extension and connects with a solid drive almost to the center of the target. She picks up 75 points. Becky's getting ready for her second serve. She smashes it and gets another 75 points. She blasts right through the middle of the 75. Becky's going for her third serve. She throws it up. Oh, she missed the target altogether. She looks a little embarrassed by that one. Next up to serve for the boys is Efri. He positions himself on the line, puts it up and pushes to the right of the target for no score. Efri's concentrating on his next serve. It's a good toss overhead. Oh, again he pushes it right. Too bad. He's got one more chance to score. He puts it up, and oh no! He pushed it right again. The boys didn't score and the girls got 150. Libby is going to hit for the girls. Gil, our tennis pro, will hit it to her forehand shot. The points will count double in this third and final round, so anyone can still win. Here it comes. She reaches for it and pulls it left. Here comes the second ball. She has a good stroke. Oh, it misses to left again. Here's the last ball. Libby draws back. Oh, she doesn't really connect with it. It's too bad. That's no score for the girls. Last up for the boys is Oren. He's got his work cut out for him. The boys trail by 125 points. He gets into position. Here comes the first ball. He wallops it for 75. All right. Let's see that again. As the ball comes toward him, he draws his racket back low in perfect position. He swings through the ball and hits the 75. But because points count double in this round, that adds 150 points to the boys' score. Oren's ready for his second ball. Good hit, but it bounces off for no score. This is his last ball. He draws back. Oh, it's off to the right and again bounces off. That gives the boys 150 points and the girls zero. Okay, Gil, our tennis pro, why don't you come in? Yay! Yay! All right, thanks, Gil. Okay, guys, the girls had a fantastic 200 points. Yay! But the boys pulled ahead at the final round, giving them a total of 225 points. Yay! Yay! Thank you, everyone. It was a fantastic game. Yay! Okay, Jessica, this time we're going to play a little bit of mixed doubles. Now, that's two boys against one girl, okay? That's fair. Okay, now I'm going to serve first, and I promise not to hit it too hard, okay? Got it. All right. Now, that last time was beginner's luck. I'm going to knock the fuzz off this thing. I'm going to hit it so hard this time. <laughs> okay, here it comes, Jessica, okay? Okay. All right. Game, set, 